Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, it's Vadia, so I'm back in another Inazuma 11 video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and social shall we? So yesterday, as a, so Thursday, March 28th, and as the time of recording this, Thursday, March 28th, 7.36 p.m., they, earlier today, Inazuma 11, Victory Road, finally dropped. For those of you that don't know, this is our first Inazuma 11 game, and I want to say like 11 to 15 years, which is big, and it's in English, and like, there's so much I want to say about this game. It's, this is going to be my first time playing it ever, but I, I've seen gameplay of it because I watched Tale of the Toaster and TXM, Top Spores, you know, they're both amazing YouTubers, and there are other ma amazing uh, Inazuma tubers too, it's just those two I watch the most, so go check them out. But today, we finally get to play this game for ourselves, and I know this game, there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve, also, my audio is being weird, and I don't know why it's not working, so hopefully I don't talk over it too much. So, oh, it's louder than I expected. Uh, text language, talk, talk, commentary language, English. So, it says English. There is a mixture of Japanese in it. That's all I'm going to spoil for now. But, uh, yeah, so I am think I'm good with this. Oh my god, I can't wait. I'm so excited. You have no- I literally waited through like all of school, all of work, just for this one moment. Like, I am recording this the second I get the chance. I'm not even kidding with you. Um, so... Okay, here we go. In the zoom Anyways, there's the Japanese. So like I said, there's a little bit of English and Japanese with all of it. Level 5, well, it's been so long since I saw that logo. I mean, I saw it this morning, but when I saw it this morning at the first time, I was so happy. I hope that didn't just say I'm not allowed to record this. Special moves and in-gaming trainings, uh, obviously don't uh, try to do it again, or obviously don't try to do it in real life. Press the A and B buttons to confirm the screen controls. Okay. Would you like to use A for confirm and B to cancel? Yes, I would. I actually didn't read what that said. So much. Look at that screen. If I could capture record this, I would. So, because this is the demo, we only have access to certain amounts. Currently, we can only be uh, competitor mode and options. Options are, you know, the text language and stuff like this. Now, I'm going to go to competitive mode. So, I... I'm gonna keep quiet on this. There is, there's a level cap of 30, I think. There is an easy way to level up in this game, but because I want to show off our first match, we're gonna do it against AI. But first up, let's just show off our team. This is our team. So finally, okay, first up, dude, this is epic. Like we got the Inazoom 11 license, the, the Inazoom, the, the thing from Ares that I don't remember. Uh, it's kind of like that, but you know, like how they all have characters' names. We got Heath Moore, Mark Evans, Aaron, Sher Aaron Sherwin. Uh, fuck, this is my first time getting to play with these characters because the only Inazuma game I played up to is Inazoom 11 2. We got Goldie Lemon, Mark Evans, <gasps> Frey Ruin, my favorite character, Sunny Wright, another favorite, and Nathan Swift, John Pia LaPan, some of them have moves over here, some of them don't, attack 65, uh, we'll go over all those later, all these guys are level 1 right now, and our coach, we even have a coach, and look at this special little thing we can do with the coach, how do I do this, um, view appearance, Seymour Hillman, a character that did not have a mob on the original, and look at him now, oh boy, and the coach can level up too by the looks of it, because he's also level 1, which is, oh my god, this is so amazing, and we have a formation, Delta, Balance, Hexa, Double Volante. What's the most aggressive formation we can pick? <laughs> I'll, I'll pick this later, but for now, so much I want to go over. And we have special tactics too. Waxing Moon, Flame Fortress, Bond Protocol. I'll uh, change these later, and I'll go over them later too. We can even change the uniform and team emblem, but we won't. There's a shop where we can go buy stuff, but I won't talk about those yet. And we can watch the gameplay tutorial, but the first match is always guaranteed to be a gameplay, so we're just going to go right into it. You can go online, but I'm choosing to go here. Uh, this is a difficulty that we unlocked from the shop, so we're going to go here. Uh, we can actually pick any team we want to be active. I think the one that we have active currently is All-Stars? Actually, it, it should be, but... Um, so, this is the two teams we can play against. Let's play against National Champs. This will be our first match. Now, for the record, the gameplay I have seen of this... Th them being okay this is like a rarity thing so if you ever played like a game or like higher rarity yeah so the purple is not max rarity gold is max rarity purple i think is second max rarity then it goes blue then it goes green green are the easiest ones to beat but the fact that their main forward elliot ember is a three that doesn't bring me much joy i'm not fighting this team they're way too over leveled for us like from the things i've seen levels make a difference and they're higher level than we are inherently but the other thing is too the way this game plays, it plays like a lot like mobile soccer games, and I suck 
at those. But if I win this game, or if I win any game today, I will be happy. I have to record at least three of these, so I'm looking forward to this. Uh, again, this is my first time playing the game, but I know what it looks like. But look at the stadium. Hear the crowd. Did you hear that? It's got English dialogue! And again, like some of the things are in Japanese, but English dialogue! And look at this! Look at this screen! This was worth it! This was so worth the wait, I'm not even kidding! Like, this was worth the wait on Inazuma Love, just for this alone! Look at these intros! They're like slowly walking up, they got the captain's band, they got Ricardo! And that and that's unique too, like you can change it. They've overcome every challenge they've faced so far. I'm looking forward to seeing what plays they'll be showing us. Sweeping win. First 30 seconds, 100% winning of scramble tactics, okay? On the other side, the national champs. They feature some of the best players our country has to offer. With all of them <laughs> being standout individuals, there's no way of predicting how this game is going to unfold. Did you hear the English of that? Like, the. Okay, I know I keep focusing on English, but, like, I didn't expect this game to actually be in English. And, like, all of that was amazing. Like, they have our actual team names. Oh my god, okay, wait, I'm gonna suck at this. Here comes the kickoff. Okay, kickoff time. Okay, go Axel. Uh, lock it. Okay, wait, I need to figure out the controls. Uh, breakthrough! Oh, wait. Crap, I don't know where I'm passing. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> Tutorial, please! You can do almost everything with a B button. Point the left stick, and when a line appears, press B to pass. You can even use B to shoot if you're in front of the goal and you've chosen a path for the ball. The A button is for when you want to get past other players or steal the ball. Okay, B, in their own words, B does everything, A passes the ball. There are things I know how to do, but I'm just going to follow this tutorial, so... You can also switch control of players. Oh. oh wait, no, I didn't. Frick, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to. To okay, so B passes. That's that's all I need to know for now. I, again, I know the other mechanics, but I want to do tutorial mode for this one. So B to pass. Um, let's try to get a goal, cause not to uh, crap on Tail or anything, but Tail did actually lose his first match. So B. Oh, okay. No, Elliot. Wait, crap. Uh, B switch character. Uh, oh crap, Nathan, yeah! Oh crap. <laughs> um. to set up castle walls in the defensive zone. You can use this defense to stop the opposition's shots. Bear in mind that the castle wall defense will be incomplete until players on your team move to where it was placed, so be very careful where you place it. Okay, well, uh, B. Um, right here. Go! B! Catch! I think Mark can catch us out, right? <laughs> During matches, you can check your keeper's stamina via the KP Keeper Power Gauge. Which is this up here. The power of each shot saved determines how much the gauge depletes. When the gauge reaches zero, it's possible to score. Keeper skills can be used to slow the gauge's depletion rate. So the important thing to note is the keepers are far more important in this game than they were before. Uh, let me quickly figure out how I'm gonna do this. Oh crap! Shit! God damn it! Lands near players from both teams. Another type of mini battle will begin. This contest for the ball is called a scramble. Align the cursor with one of the three boxes, then press the button when the time is right. Okay, so that's pretty much what we're doing. And a lot of people hated the scramble originally because it came down to like I think who was higher leveled or who had better stats. I like that one honestly, but you know other people. Uh, are, oh crap! Wait, shit! Uh, crap! <laughs> Go block him! Oh wait, wait, block. Okay, wait. That's gonna be wall one. That's gonna be wall two. Uh, go. Catch. Okay, Mark caught that out right. Uh, okay, wait. Pass to Goldie. Pass. No, oh, my God. When there's a struggle for the ball during a match, a mini battle called focus begins. The player trying to steal the ball has to block the other player and press A, while the player with the okay. ball has to choose an escape route and also press A. Okay, it's press A for that one. By passing the ball with B. Okay, cool. Press A. Press A. That's all I gotta do. Just gotta press A. I also gotta time this right. Okay, B return to match. Okay. Uh, oh wait, no. Oh no, I forgot it's press A, not, uh, wait, crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, okay, well, I'm pretty much conceding all of my goals. Okay, wait, yeah, that's good. Oh, catch. Oh. Okay, I don't, okay, Mark's letting the next one in pretty much. Uh, go, whoever that goes to! Oh crap, wait, guys, go, go, fuck! 
taking on and winning the focus and scramble battles on the pitch accumulates tension. I get to take a shot on goal. Tension is required to unleash special moves, so do your best to win each battle. Okay, you also get rewards as we just saw, but like that's a whole other entity that I'll explain later. Uh, right now, I'm trying to figure out life. No! Oh! Oh my god, I broke through! Oh, I can't believe that play worked! Um, can I get to... How do you... He's... Shit! <laughs> when you're near your goal or the other team's goal, you can press X to activate the zone. Okay. This slows down time and lets you give players precise instructions. Watch out, though. The zone can be activated by the opposition, too. So that's what happened when time slowed down earlier when Hazaki when Hizuki was taking a shot. Or not Hizuki, uh, em Ellie, Ember. Oh crap, wait, shit. Oh no, this is not gonna go in at all. <laughs> There's no way in hell that does. <laughs> oh, it made Sam use a move though. But yeah, see, Burning Catch, like, that's the Japanese name, but we saw the English name both there, which is interesting. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, wait, uh, crap. <laughs> okay, I know how to do that. And here's tactics. So they're Geoglyph, they get a special thing. I'll focus on that later. <laughs> or now. A, B, X, or Y while holding the L button, you can utilize tactics. There are two kinds. Special tactics, which only affect the area inside the geoglyphs displayed on the pitch, and super tactics, which are distributed randomly. Okay, so uh L is what I have to worry about. Right now, I need to focus on taking down, uh, you. Uh, Arian, go, go, child. Um, no, wait! The hell! Lapan! There we go. Oh, crap. Okay, wait. Oh my god, I can't believe that Whoa, 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 whoa wait, crap! Pat! Oh, that's, that's not gonna get to Jack at all. <laughs> Shit. Shit. <laughs> Ellie's taking a shot. Uh, oh god. <laughs> well, I've conceded a goal. <laughs> I'm not- Mark is not stopping this at all. If Mark stops this, I'll be damned, but I don't think Mark can stop this. Uh, yeah, cat. Mark's not stopping this. So, that's the gauge. Um, thankfully after every goal, it does reset to max. My god. Okay, so... Also, time works a lot faster here. Okay, you don't fucking X. Or, okay, uh... Breakthrough! Axel! Wait, no! Axel! Okay, sure. Arian? Max, zone, zone! Uh, oh my god, I can't believe that worked! It's also oh. possible to boost the power of your shot once a zone is activated by shooting after passing to a different player. To do this, instead of shooting as soon as the goal is in sight, use the left stick to move the cursor sideways to another player, pass, then shoot. Okay, bet. Okay, here we go. I can't believe that plan worked though. Uh, we'll go. Uh, why? Doom Soul Slash! He'll probably stop this outright, or Hunter will get in the way. Yeah, there's Hunter with Hunter's net. Or not Hunter, uh, Itor, who's one of my favorite characters. And oh, come on! You really gotta cock block me, bring it down to one. Okay, I'm not scoring on Sam. I'm not scoring on Sam unless I cheat. <laughs> Oh wait, no. Oh, that's how you change players consistently. Okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. Oh, wait, 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 oh, wait, no, wait, what? <laughs> Byron! Oh, I can enter the zone with- oh, Christ the Lord. And castle wall. Please, somehow stop it. Mark should be able to stop that out, right, yeah. Okay, you know what? Screw it! Uh, long pass! Long pass! Oh, Christ the Lord, Ricardo! Goldie, take him down. Crap! I'm trying to! Oh, it's B that puts it down! I've been spamming A this whole time! Shit! Okay, 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 I get it now. I get it. I took a shot on goal with the special. I like the calmness of the descriptions. Okay, so they have. Oh, we actually have possession, but they took shots on us six times and only one of them went through. And it had to be a special. Okay. Who here has a special move that we can use on shooting? Uh, okay. Heath, as much as I love you, dude, I would love to show you off, but honestly, you don't have a shot kind of screws me over. Actually, you know what? Fuck it, Faye. I love I love Faye. Faye's my favorite. Okay. Axel, it seems like... I'm gonna bank it on this plan working. And then, who has any defense moves? Arian has... Do we only have one dribble? No, we have two dribble... We have three dribble moves. So our entire 
forward line. No, we have four dribble moves because Nathan has one. And then uh, JP has literally nothing. You see, it's so weird for me to say JP because like other YouTubers such as as Tail of the Toaster can casually like say JP because you know it's a whole thing. Oh, we can even change our formation from here, but I think we're going with substitutions. No, 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 no. We're not changing Mark. Uh, plus. Let's see. Not good. Oh, there we go. Can impact the game. Okay. Um. Okay. Wait. Wait. Okay. I don't know what the hell just happened there, but you know I'm gonna take it. Victor, pass. Victor, I was trying to pass to you. Boy, boy, pass. What the? Wait, that's that's my character. <laughs> there we go. CR. Use the left stick to choose a direction. Then press B to dash attack. Okay, I was waiting for this. Charge forward really fast and scatter any opponents that are in the way. Be careful though, you might end up incurring a foul. Okay, I was waiting for that tutorial. Okay, I think who's ever in could Osto, run! Osto, run! Uh pass! Wait, no, pass! Oh my god, Axel! Wait, zone, zone, don't it! Uh yeet! Oh no, wait, oh I don't know what I just did. AT and DF numbers will pop up throughout matches. When the mini battles start, whoever has the highest number wins. The figures are calculated using seven player parameters, and as a player develops, these AT and DF numbers will rise. Okay, those stats like originally didn't say in game what they actually were for. So like the fact that they're now like physically there, like I mean obviously like, they had intel, well they had technique, kick control, all that stuff, but like, they didn't tell you like what position to apply to, like forward, midfield. So, so in my opinion, it's helpful for that to be there if you're not smart enough to understand, like I am. But uh, anyways, oh crap, I don't know what happened there. Gabby's stopping that outright. God damn it, Gabby. Boy, oh that's how we do it. I just gotta press A. No, wait, fuck. <laughs> Oh my god, Astro did it! Astro, wait! Astro, no! Boy, wait! Oh my god, I did it! I don't know how I... I'm just much, I'm just bunching mash here at this point. X zone! X zone! Uh, wait, no, why? Why, 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 Oh, wait, why? Why? A, A, X, B, pass! Oh, uh, why? Why? Okay, wait, why? No! Oh my god. <laughs> I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> Pass the ball to your teammates, the more bond power you'll build up. The power you've accumulated will be added to the power of the ball in your final shot. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I, if the opposition takes the ball, your bond power will deplete. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I'm literally just button mashing. Like, that's all I'm doing. I'm not even. I don't understand what I'm doing half the time. I'm literally just button mashing. B! Shoot the ball! Damn it, Sam! <laughs> that almost actually worked too, and that's the surprising part. Okay, pass to someone close to me. Yeah! No! No! I fouled! I actually succeeded in the take and I fouled! No! Okay, I actually love this. I hate it. I hate games like these normally, but I love this. No, you don't. No, wait, no, 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 no. B, B, B! And you. Oh, there we go, Jack. Okay, nope, we're not doing this. Okay, so their defense is higher, essentially. B. Oh, okay, that's my fault. That's my fault. Oh, crap. Zone! And block him. Oh my god! I didn't know you could use zone defensively like that! Uh, B, pass to my teammates. Pass! 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 B! No! I had it! No! Oh! I can't believe that worked! I cannot believe that worked! Okay, even if I lose this, I'm so proud of myself for that. I did not think that would work. Oh my god, Sam's almost down. If I can get one more shot on him, I think I can score. I actually think I can score on Sam. Because uh, the goalkeepers are incredibly hard to score on. Like, no, I messed up. I messed up. Oh, JP! JP, you genius! You mad genius! JP! Oh, X, zone, zone, zone! Ah, uh, Faye, you are not scoring this outright, but you know, I believe in you, child. No! Gabby, you motherfucker! <gasps> yes! Faye! Faye did it! My MVP! My MVP! He scored! In my first match, I score! I'm not letting them score again. All in, maybe, uh, what was it? L that did it? No, you don't. Oh, okay. No. 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 Sean, don't do this to me. B. B. And B. Someone. Yes, got him. Oh, my God. Wait. Did I fuck up? 
Jack, somehow stop it. Uh, B! Can I stop this? Can we? Mark, please! Mark, please! Mark, let's go! Thank you, Jack! <laughs> Log pass! Log oh wait, no, no, no. Pass? Pass! Oh, come on, screw you! Uh, that's not happening. That's not happening. Pat, I don't care who this goes to. Just pass. Thank you. X, I don't care who that goes to. <gasps> Axel, 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 B, 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 Axel, B, Axel, what the fuck are you doing? Axel! Oh, Dad, Axel, shoot! That's not gonna go in, but. <laughs> okay, I'm understanding how to play the game now. I'm understanding. We drew! We drew in our first game! I'll take it! We were under leveled as hell! I'll take it! We, we drew! This is actually my first time seeing a draw animation. Like, they all have really cool animations for, like, drawing, losing, and my favorite's Victory, because at least the one I saw with Victory... Oh. We have a draw! It truly felt like the clash of wills between both teams. Look at that! Electrifying match! Seven shots to seven! We literally drew them! We act... Oh, come on. They couldn't give me the level. We literally drew them! Seven to seven! I... Wow. I was actually... I didn't expect to get a goal at all in my first run. I legitimately thought they were going to destroy me. That's my first time playing again. Like, I, I'm really bad at those. And I was passing so well! Or decently well for my first time. Okay, so, sadly, that's all I have for this one. Uh, in the shop, all we can buy current... Well, I mean, we can buy these with our, our little victory stones over there. So this will allow us to get um, new level difficulties. This will allow us to battle against Alias, or it'll... Oh yeah, it allows for us to battle against alias players, so you know, like the alien guys. And this will allow us to use them as our team members, which is pretty cool. Uniforms, we can buy these, but we need like the certain items for those. And as you saw earlier, by winning in those duels, we actually get items. And something I'll tell later, just in case, or something I'll tell now, just in case I can't do it later, is... It's easier to just play online and level up because the level cap is 30. If you lose against the- if you don't win against the AI, you don't get a good amount of EXP. You only get a good amount of EXP if you win. So, you might as well play against the online because you actually get a lot more experience whether you win or lose. So, that's how I would suggest it, but um, I'm gonna keep playing online at least for the bots, and then I'm gonna play on- I'm playing offline for at least one more video, and I'll play online for one, and I'm basically gonna grind for the rest of it. But, that was actually really fun. Oh, then one more thing I can show off in training. So as you see, Hillman has this little thing over him. Actually, so does Heath more. I'm gonna show it in Heath. Actually, I'll, I'll give it to the coach first because the coach is the newest thing. So um, the for here, I don't know what the hell this is, but um, in Spirit, if we go to Spirit, not like Fighting Spirits from uh, Inazuma 11-2, but or not Inazuma 11-2, Inazuma 11-Go. Uh, you see, we go to these spirits things, and these things are like those little cards that we picked up during the match. And like I said before, blue is a growing player. It's better than green, and then there's purple, and then there's uh, gold. And once you pick a character, so if you use one of these like on a character that doesn't apply to, I'm not gonna use it on it because I don't want to waste it. But it only gives one exp. This, however, grows them all the way. Synthesize. And now our helmet is a higher rarity. So after substitution, the substitute player's attack increases by 3% by, for three, 15 seconds. New passive team has been unlocked, which is all around good. I have no idea what uh, their, his type has to do with anything. Honestly, I like how we have just a straight line of Earth players and then our entire floor line is just fucking flames. But, uh, you know, that's really funny. Oh yeah, the last thing we get to do, we get to actively set a player as captain. Now, I would love it to be Axel. I would love it to be Victor because Victor kind of got screwed over when he was captain. I would love it to be Byron, Mark, all of them. But... Faerun is going to be our captain. And screw Arian Sherwin because I don't like him. <laughs> Nothing against Arian. I just don't like him. It's just a personal thing. But let's use our Heathmore card and synthesize up some higher EXP. And for some reason, Jude is not on this team. But later, we can customize our team if we want to. We can even change up tactics. I didn't show off any of our tactics in that one, but uh, here's what they do. So Waxing Moon, um, you, you are, when our attention is below 30, our attack gets plus 50. When our attention is below 30, our scramble gets plus 50. Uh, focus and scramble overall plus 15%. And then the Geoglyph effect is a 100% with Flame Fortress, so really good with defense. And the overall effect is attack increased by 25 on own team's half of the pitch, which is really great for dribbling up the board. And then Geoglyph Geo effect on bomb, bomb protocol, plus 200 bomb power upon passing. So pretty much if you play it really smart, you can get a lot of power out of your moves and then minus 25% to bomb power reduction, which means, you know, I think if... I don't know if like automatically like you lose the ball or like how you lose bomb power, 
but honestly it's pretty interesting that of how it works and then we can move players in and out of our team with these guys from the other team so i'll use the other team in the next one but then for now uh we can change our uniforms as well i'll keep the uniform the way it is though that one did look use, uh interesting to me and then as for our emblems currently these are our only ones so without further ado i'm going to end this one here i hope all of you enjoyed i cannot wait to play another match i'm actually really fe feeling really stoked about this now so i'll see you all this one don't forget to like comment subscribe don't forget to follow twitch and let's play football together next time <laughs>